in an ABC 17 storm track weather alert. Flash flood watches are in effect right now for several parts of mid Missouri after another day of rain. And it's only going to get worse as the week goes on. We have coverage tonight on how the rain is impacting both roads in Boone and Cole counties tonight. And first, let's get right to ABC 17 storm track. Chief meteorologist Sharon Ray for a look at the changing flooding conditions around the, the area. Yes, you know, and we're just going to get worse. As you said, we have a lot more moisture heading in our direction. The areas that'll be mostly impacted by the flooding and the heaviest rain are going to be south of Interstate 70. Here are your weather headlines. I do expect periods of thunderstorms through Friday. Those will have heavy rain with them and become more widespread south of Interstate 70 by late tomorrow and through the day Friday. Anywhere from two to six inches of rain is possible uh, from Interstate 70 southward with lower amounts as you head to the north. And this system, this remnant, the remnants of Tropical Storm Bill, which is now actually a tropical depression, that will be moving out of the area Friday night and early Saturday, so we will start to dry out and have a much drier weekend ahead. But in the meantime, our focus is going to be on any additional rainfall because, as you know, the ground is saturated and the rivers are running high right now, and any additional rain is going to cause uh, problems and more flooding. In fact, today we already have many roads that have been closed or underwater, especially those low water crossings. Right now on Storm Track Doppler radar, it's dry and most have been. Missouri, just a couple of little showers near Moberly right now, but farther to the south at the Lake of the Ozarks, where we've seen the heaviest rain last night and early today, well, there's where we're getting some more rain right now. Now, the rain is light near Camdenton and heading off to Vienna, and I do expect these showers to continue to decrease as we head into the early evening hours, but then they're going to pick up again later tonight. We'll see increasing rain once again for our southern counties, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Here is the out the door forecast. If you're heading out for the evening, keep the umbrella handy. We could have a spot shower or thunderstorm through 9 o'clock tonight. But most areas, especially north, will stay dry. It's going to be warm and humid again. Temperatures by midnight at 73. And then after midnight, we will see the rain increasing once again. You can see that steady stream of moisture working its way to the north and east. And as low-level winds increase tonight at about 1,000 to 2,000 feet. That moisture is going to continue to stream off of that circulation of Bill. That'll be heading in our direction again, and our southern counties will see rain later tonight. Here's future track, 7 o'clock this evening, just spot showers and thunderstorms heading into 2 in the morning. There's that moisture I was just talking about. You can see how that spreads across the Lake of the Ozarks and areas south of Interstate 70 through 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and that picks up tomorrow late in the day. Notice tomorrow afternoon. If you live north of Highway 50, we're looking at just spotty showers and thunderstorms. But farther to the south, the rain becomes more widespread. Tomorrow night, this is 8 o'clock Thursday night through Friday, you can see how it spreads farther to the north as that circulation continues to move in. During the day Friday, we'll have periods of rain with heavy rainfall, especially in our southern counties. Can't rule out a couple of showers north, but the majority of it's going to stay south. Here's a look at the ABC 17 Storm Track 7 day forecast then. We also have a slight risk of a severe storm tomorrow. It's a marginal risk, actually, for tomorrow and Friday. Highs near 80 degrees, and then that rain drops off for the weekend. But it gets hot and sticky here this weekend. I will have the weekend forecast and a look at the flash flood watch and how much rain you can expect in your hometown coming up in 10 minutes. Thank you, Sharon. While it's mostly spotty showers left in mid-Missouri right now, water left over area roads is still making driving conditions potentially dangerous tonight. ABC 17's Lindsay Burning is joining us now live from Route Y near the Boone and Callaway County line. And Lindsay, you're seeing some flooding there firsthand. Yes, Daniel, that's right. Now, I was out here earlier today on Route y, y near Cedar Creek, and the water has receded since then. Just in the last 10 minutes, we saw MoDOT crews reopen the road and take down the road closed signs. But earlier today, the water was up to the two feet mark on the side of the road. Now, that would be up to my mid thigh. So, as you can see, that's pretty deep. And Gail Blomenkamp with the Boone Fire, Fire Protection District says it takes a lot less water than that to make a car float. It takes about four to six inches of water can float a vehicle. And so if people are unfamiliar with um, how much water is there or if they have running water going across that roadway, it could have washed out the road surface underneath the surface of the water so you don't really know how deep it is or even what's underneath that, underneath the water. Um, so people should turn around, don't drown, uh, find an alternative route. 
Some roads that are closed in Boone County include Zumwalt Road, Remy Road, Burnett School Road from Shelton Lane to the Boone County line, Nashville Church Road from Andrew Sapp Road to Black Hawk Trail, and Repetto Road from Acton Road to Route N. Now, there are some more, and we, you can find those on our website, abc17news.com. We will have a link up for you there. Reporting live in Boone County, Lindsay Burning, ABC 17 News. Thank you very much, Lindsay. And in Cole County, more than a dozen roads have been closed due to flooding. The county has shut down 13 roads because of the floods there. Uh, most, mostly roads that are near the Moreau River, Murphy's Ford, North Branch, Oakland, and others are covered in high water. The Moreau River is just over 21 feet deep right now, and that number is expected to get as high as 23. The National Weather Service calls it a minor flood stage. This is something that Cole County Public Works plans for, they say. If you've ever driven down any of these roads, you will have uh, seen permanent signs there warning drivers of potential flooding. Along with those signs, the county posts temporary roadblock signs at key detour spots. Officials tell us uh, they're not only watching for weather conditions constantly, but crews out on the roads as well. Especially during the day, we're out just driving the roads looking, uh, see if there's clogged pipes, uh, you know, some debris underneath a, a bridge or something that we try and get uh, people out there and get it moved quickly as possible. And we're told the Public Works Department is keeping in close contact with emergency crews to keep them informed about which roads are flooded. And uh, also in Cole County, or in Boone County, that is, Cooper's Landing is uh, also flooded today. Tonight, Easley Road over uh, is closed oh, due to a small mudslide and a tree that fell on the road. Uh, residents in the area say they are worried if they get too much more rain, they could be trapped. The county is asking for anyone traveling in the area to use Hatchery Road to get to Cooper's Landing. And take a look at this out of Morgan County. This was posted on the Morgan County 911 and Emergency Management Facebook page. You're looking at what used to be a bridge on Seals Road about three and a half miles from Highway W. Officials say flooding destroyed the bridge and the road may not be fixed for up to six weeks. They're working on a temporary solution right now. And we'll continue to bring you the latest details, of course, on storm coverage as well as road closures from around mid-Missouri. To get up-to-date information on the latest road conditions, you can always visit our website, abc17news.com, and click on road conditions.